in Ellie Weasel's Night. The protagonist Eliezer is depicted as a Jewish adolescent who immerses himself in the study of the Talmud in Syed, a town located in Hungarian Transylvania. The story is set during the spring of 1944, a time when Nazi forces have taken control of Hungary. As the occupation progresses, a series of increasingly oppressive decrees are enacted, compelling the Jewish population of Eliezer's town to reside in cramped ghettos within Syed. As events unfold, the Jewish residents are eventually gathered up and transported to the death camps at Birkenau and Auschwitz. These tragic circumstances serve as the backdrop for Eliezer's contemplations on the nature of God, prompted by the horrific atrocities he is a witness to. Notably, a pivotal scene in the narrative involves Eliezer's account of the execution of three Jewish individuals, including a young child. This harrowing experience further intensifies his reflections on faith and the divine in the face of such immense suffering. One day, as we returned from work, we saw three gallows, three black ravens, erected on the Appelplatz. Roll call. The SS surrounding us, machine guns aimed at us, the usual ritual. Three prisoners in chains, and, among them, the little pipel, the sad-eyed angel. The SS seemed more preoccupied, more worried, than usual. To hang a child in front of thousands of onlookers was not a small matter. The head of the camp read the verdict. All eyes were on the child. He was pale, almost calm, but he was biting his lips as he stood in the shadow of the gallows. This time, the Lejercapo refused to act as executioner. Three SS took his place. The three condemned prisoners together stepped onto the chairs. In unison, the nooses were placed around their necks. Long live liberty, shouted the two men. But the boy was silent. Where is merciful God? Where is he? Someone behind me was asking. At the signal, the three chairs were tipped over. Total silence in the camp. On the horizon, the sun was setting. Caps off, screamed the Lageraltist. His voice quivered. As for the rest of us, we were weeping. Cover your heads. Then came the march past the victims. The two men were no longer alive. Their tongues were hanging out, swollen and bluish. But the third rope was still moving. The child, too light, was still breathing. And so he remained for more than half an hour, lingering between life and death, writhing before our eyes. And we were forced to look at him at close range. He was still alive when I passed him. His tongue was still red, his eyes not yet extinguished. Behind me, I heard the same men asking, for God's sake, where is God? And from within me, I heard a voice answer, where is he? This is where, hanging here from this gallows. The question, where is God? And the answer, this is where, hanging here from this gallows, echo in my deepest soul and in my mind, the image of Jesus crucified on the cross keeps appearing. My dear friends, in the journey of life, we all encounter moments of darkness and uncertainty that challenge our faith and test our strength. It's natural to question the presence of evil in a world that we believe to be crafted by a loving and all-powerful creator. We wonder why suffering persists, why pain lingers, and why the light sometimes seems overshadowed by darkness. These questions are the echoes of a seeking soul, eager to understand the profound mysteries of existence. It's during these moments of doubt and fear that we must remember that our understanding is limited and the ways of the divine are beyond our comprehension. The presence of evil does not negate the existence of a benevolent God. Rather, it reminds us of the complexity of the world we inhabit. Just as shadows are necessary for us to appreciate the brilliance of light, challenges and adversities play a role in shaping our character, strengthening our resilience and fostering empathy and compassion. The Creator's love is not defined by the absence of suffering, but by the presence of hope in the midst of it, like a beacon of light guiding a ship through stormy waters. The Divine Presence provides us with solace and strength to navigate the darkest of times. 
The trials we face may shake our peace and test our faith, but they also offer opportunities for growth, transformation, and a deeper connection to our own inner strength. It's important to acknowledge that the world we live in is a complex tapestry woven from the threads of free will and natural laws. The existence of suffering isn't a reflection of God's indifference, but rather a consequence of the intricate balance that sustains the universe. The Creator's mercy shines through in the resilience and courage with which humanity faces adversity. Acts of kindness, love, and selflessness in the face of hardship are a testament to the indomitable spirit that resides within us. In moments when the weight of suffering feels overwhelming, take solace in the fact that you are not alone. Reach out to those around you, for they too carry their own burdens and understand the struggles of the human experience. Seek guidance from spiritual teachings and wise mentors who can offer insight and guidance on your journey. Remember that faith is not just about believing. It's about finding the strength to believe even when doubts linger. Ultimately, evil and suffering do not define the entirety of existence. They are transient aspects of a greater cosmic narrative. As you navigate through life's challenges, remember that your journey is a tapestry of moments, emotions, and experiences that shape your soul. Embrace the darkness, for it is in the darkest of nights that stars shine the brightest. Hold on to hope, for it is the beacon that guides you toward a future filled with love, compassion, and a deeper understanding of the divine plan.